Hello. I actually haven't played Flight Simulator for a while, but with the sim update then out, with the multi-disc base support, and with the new GeForce 49, I thought it would be actually a great time to get back to the game. So I installed, installed the beta version of the sim update 11, and thought that let's just try, out, try it out today and see what sort of results we'll be getting today. And I actually have to say the results were quite interesting. Besides the GeForce 4090, I'm running Ryzen 7 5800X3D here. So in the end, that might be the bottleneck here. Before flying the flight simulator with the full setup here, I decided that I was going to try some benchmarks with just single display with 2560 by 1440 resolution. And I tried it many times and noticed a few things. DLSS didn't do anything for me. But when I checked the, checked the CPU and GPU utilization, I noticed that the GPU utilization was actually quite low. Then I tried it with the 4K resolution, which just kind of hooking everything up to the 4K, 4K TV. And the issue was here again the same. I never got above 100 frames per second, which isn't bad for a 4K resolution naturally. But still, the GPU utilization was constantly really low. So I decided to open the task manager and check it out. And it would seem that most likely the bottleneck is the CPU, which while the flight simulator, at least the, I don't know if it's the beta 11 update or internal issue here, but it just cannot utilize all the cores properly. But after testing this one out, Let's see how it actually handles the whole triple display setup. So, welcome to the cockpit. And if you're wondering about the plane of my choice, this Crop G115, it, would, it just seemed to be a fun and agile plane that would be fun to fly. Nice tourer for just kind of relaxed civilian, civilian aviation. And it had the ready made Air Manager 4 for cockpit here or dashboard here. So my setup, if you haven't watched, watched this before, I have a lot of verbal stuff here, a lot of self-made stuff here. Mostly play Star Citizen with this, but also DCS and getting back to the flight simulator here. But like I said, I'm running Air Manager, Air Manager here, and that's really one important thing for me that I want to have some nice stuff around me here. Also, if you're interested, I'm building a new cockpit at the moment, so you can check that playlist out. I'll put the link to the comments. But if we check the frame rate, it's actually pretty low. So when I I'm flying around in New York, which is, as far as I understand, one of the most taxating places that you can actually fly here, we're getting something like 40 frames per second, which which is really low. If I compare it to something like the ECS with this triple display setup, I was getting getting something like easily, easily even 80, 60, 70, 80 frames per second. And even though there are more pixels for this calculator, I think this is something like 20% over 4K, uh, it's still not even, this is just kind of not alone not enough to explain the difference so I don't know if it's the sim update 11 beta that's affecting this thing or if it's just that the multi display support really isn't optimized yet in the flight simulator I think it might be that one too since it's quite new feature but otherwise everything is looking pretty nice it's just amazing feeling to fly around and when you turn your head, you can actually see what's supposed to be there. Once we get to some less populated areas, the frames start to look much better. For example, here uh, in the New York, I actually had to drop the quality high end. In my previous test, I was running with ultra, ultra settings and with even a 4K, I was hitting almost 100 frames per second. So in New York, I had to drop it to the high end and was getting something like 30, 30 frames per second. And here I can use ultra, but still getting only, only something like 30, frame, 30 frames per second. Okay, so 
I guess it's time to fly this thing and then go through the results quickly. And for the landing I came to the nearest airport that I have in Finland. It's Hyvinkä. I think it's over there. Small, really small air airport. So I'm just going to land this thing and then for some final thoughts. Oh, and by the way, I'm not really good at landing this stuff or anything like that. Like I mentioned, I haven't played this for a while and recently I've been trying to learn to land the Hornet in DCS, so I don't think this can, this plane can take as rough landing as Hornet, Hornet can, so let's hope we'll come down in one piece. For some reason, since the seat is on the right side, I'm having some difficulties always aligning with the runway with this plane, but I think this is going to be just fine. It's always successful landing if you can walk from it always on the right side. I really need to learn my learn to align a bit better with the runway with this plane, but at least we made it. Okay, so I would have to say that was an interesting thing to try out. What I noticed that my bottleneck <laughs> really is not GPU, which was kind of to be expected, but also at the same time I was kind kind of surprised because most of the times even with 4K the GPU utilization was hovering around something like around 50. And even here, the GPU utilization is something like 50 to 60 percent, but I'm still getting something like 40 frames per second. And this really is not using all the cores available. But again, the 4K performed much better. It, so it's not just the amount of pixels this has to calculate, but I guess it's also something about optimizing the multi-display multi setup here in the long term to get any better any better frames. I would be just happy with something like 60 frames per second myself. But like I said, that was just a kind of quick, quick flight simulator tour with my setup with the new graphics card. So if you want to see more flight simulator, kind of leave a comment. Would be really interesting hearing about, about that. And also, if you're interested in any kind of similar simple stuff, building this stuff, playing games with it, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.